Looks like we're not the only ones busting around the country. So we just got back from going out and praying for people and Isaiah had a really cool thing happen. Okay, so there were a group of boys at Barnes & Noble. We walked up to them and asked if they had any pain. And one of them were like, yeah, I've got this pro what was the problem with problem his hip. He couldn't, yeah, couldn't bend his hip because it was painful. And I'm like, okay, well, can I pray for you? He's like, I guess. And then so I said, <laughs> pain be healed in the name of Jesus. And then he like, freaked out he's like oh my goodness it's gone and like started like doing this and like yeah, he's walking around going yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, like, and he's almost, looking at his man and his friends going yeah. <laughs> and his friends are like well actually i've got something wrong with me and i ended up praying for two other boys that got healed yeah. just like bang 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 the first guy chris starts uh talking to and he's flat-footed. So he, you know, I asked him, I said, well, uh, out of a one to 10, what's your pain like? He's like a 14, you know? Wow. So uh, Chris starts praying for him and he's like, he's a little better. And so he prayed for him a few times and it was, he was, the pain was completely gone. I had severe back pain and in a matter of a minute or two, it went away completely. And I consider that a miracle. One of the cool things is we got an email to, or I think yesterday from a lady who wrote us and said she was suffering from lots of pain in her body and she was so encouraged by seeing the kids because I, you know, in the video Isaiah talks about what's going on, Arwen, you know, talked about what's going on and some of the other kids and she was so encouraged about it. She said, you know, if, if children can do this like why can't I you know so she actually prayed for herself after watching the video and she said she went and laid down and then boom she felt a pop in her body and she said since that day of watching the video and praying for herself she's progressively gotten better so guys as you can see God is doing things and you don't have to be a religious person in the sense of doing a bunch of uh, formatted things, you can just know the Lord. You don't have to be someone special for God to use you. You know, many people think, oh, the pastor up on the stage, or, you know, oh, this, these great ministers, they, oh, God only uses them, and we just, we just sit here and we listen to what they have to say, and they're the ones that God goes out and uses, but that's not the case. God wants to use everyone, including you. And then we went to uh, the electronics Best shop. Best Buy. Best Buy. Best Buy. These two are walking around the shop just finding people to pray for. So they'll tell about that. Well, their girls came in yesterday to work. After I, I was, I was crying in the car all the way from work. Well, from home all the way to work. And it takes me exactly like 21 minutes. So I cried and I prayed to God the whole time. Wow. I, said, I said, I'm tired. I said, I can't do this anymore. I can't fight it. I said, I don't want to be depressed. I don't want to have anxiety. I'm tired of feeling sick. I said, just tell me. I was like, if you hear me, let me know. I was like, please send me a sign. I got to work, you know, I put on my fake smile like I do all the time. <laughs> and I said, oh, here we go. Not even 
three hours later, Nivea and Aaron came in. Uh, we passed by this worker and she was just down there um, checking tags I think she was doing. And they were like, we're looking for someone we can pray for with depression, anxiety, and that's fighting battles. And I just looked, I was like, that person's me. Oh my gosh, I was just talking to my friend. I told her I needed God today and this is a blessing, you answered my prayer. And, and I just started to cry. I said, that's me. I said, I just asked God a few hours ago to send me a sign that he heard me. I was like, and he did. I said, he did. Yeah, he did. And they prayed with me, and it just made me so happy. I was like, I'm going to that place that they told me to go. So I'm gonna be there. I was like, I'm gonna be there early. And I was here, and it's been the best experience. I've never in my life been baptized. I'm 20 years old, and that has to be, besides her being born, has to be <laughs> the best thing ever. I saw like a white flame go over my eyes, and I just filled with joy. Wow. I don't know where it came from. It was just happiness. I've never in my life experienced. And I was so happy. And I wish I could get baptized lots of times to get yeah. the same exact result. But I know it's like a one-time thing. And a few weeks ago, Chris and Rachel, my sister and my brother-in-law and their family, um, left us and went back to Canada. They wanted to see what it was like back in Canada. In quite, the snow. Quite a the contrast. Cold. So Chris, if you're watching this, you know, it's about 75 Fahrenheit out. Beautiful weather. You wear shorts and flip-flops. Yeah. There's snow here, so we're happy about that because we're gonna be converting the new bus we need good weather during that time it'll help us go faster so we're praying for good weather and no rain and that way we can get the work done quickly so while we were in Pensacola we met up with a good friend of ours uh, Luis Lopez and his family all right we're headed out right now um, to go see our friend Luis Lopez who is going to be helping us this afternoon with our new bus logo yes our yeah. new bus life logo and I'm sure that many of you have been wondering how far along is Julie? When is she due? When's the baby gonna come? Well, the official due date is June 26. And um, so that would put me just over two months along. All right, so I'm in the um, office with my good friend, Lewis. And, we're, and Lewis has actually designed everything I've ever had designed, I think, in my life when it comes to like CD covers or posters or business cards or whatever it is, Lewis is my go-to guy. The only thing that when I think of compass, I do, is travel related. It can also be nautical. I use yeah. compasses when I do nautical Both. stuff. Yep. Right. You know, something like that, you, you know, the, the RV door. But you want, you're saying you want to use this image, like that's the shape yeah. of the front of the Keep bus the or bus the like actual bus like you see no, there? No, you like could actually bus. put our bus in there, the original okay. Good News bus well, in there. Well, think of Coca-Cola. They still use the original old-fashioned Coke bottles for their logos and symbols. They don't go to those Yes, ugly, right. Yeah, I they agree. I agree. still stay with what their original was. All right, so we've worked on some good concepts here. And uh, I think after we, yeah. several hours, here you go. We have come up with something. Yeah. I don't know. There's quite a few there. He's a pro. So yeah. we're going to be hopefully putting some of this on t-shirts and coming up with a new logo and lots of fun stuff. Hello. This is Lewis's wife right here. I know, right? There's Lewis's wife. I've been there in a little while, but you guys are leaving. I don't know if I'm going to see you or not. This is Lewis's daughter, April. Hello. Okay. And I'm the guy who played as Darth Vader in Ray's Redemption. Aaron. Uh, yeah, <laughs> His real name's Aaron. Okay, guys. Out here outside the Good News bus, and I'm about to, to swap out the starter. Because the starter, actually, for the last few months, ever since we were in Mooseman, Canada, something happened where the solenoid actually stuck. And when I started the bus, the solenoid stuck and just kept the starter running when it did that it ruined some of the points i think inside the starter and so i'm going to be installing a new starter and solenoid today to fix that problem because we are getting ready to hit the road again we're going to be going down to florida we are in florida but we're going to be going down to avon florida to get our new bus 
so we're excited about that and then we're going to be traveling to orlando florida where we're actually going to do the conversion so if any of you are in those areas and like to meet up with us just let us know the first thing i have to do though is disconnect the power from my battery terminals to make sure that there's no shorting out that happens I've got my trusty tool set here. So my main power terminal is disconnected. Now I can get under there and disconnect the power from the starter. My starter is right here. So there's two main points I'm gonna to have to disconnect wires. One from the solenoid and one from the starter itself, but it looks pretty simple. I've got a phone call. Lewis, hey, hey man, when you pull up a picture for our video, it'll say the bus life in the top left corner. I've got the word the in the top of bus. And I just, I think it looks kind of cool because the's not that important, but it would be cool if it said good news where our bus says good news. If you know, if you know what I mean. I can try it, but that, yeah. Okay, sounds good. I mean, yeah, I'll text that over right now. So Lewis designed this for kind of an icon, and that's what he just called about. We wanted to maybe do a couple changes to to what he's got, but we really like how it looks. So back to the starter. <laughs> when you work on a big engine all right so <laughs> I just have to um, reconnect the battery and then we can test it and see if it works so it looks like your hands. I don't get that part. What? The You're sand? You're washing so dirt. Because the sand Spraying adds the, the sand adds grit, and it scrubs the the grease off easier. Oh. Do you guys need more soap? Maybe. Okay, here. Hold on. Oh yeah. Uh, all right, guys, we're in Mariana, Florida. Um, we didn't really travel that far today. Um, we kind of took it easy, got here, um, picked up some groceries from Walmart. Of course, we're parked in the Walmart parking lot right now. So we're just kind of taking it easy. And tomorrow morning, I've got to get up and I want to chuck the, the water on our batteries to get those filled up and get back on the road as we head down to Avon, Florida. So you guys have a great evening. Bye.